Now, I think these are the most important things for project managers to do. To understand their performance, effectiveness, that's the schedule performance index, two of them, and to understand the efficiency or the productivity, that's the cost performance index. If I come from another discipline, if I'm an accountant, uh, unfortunately um, I didn't become accountant, I got the numerical skills but I don't have the personality to become an accountant. So I, I ended up as a kind of very poor engineer, but I can still understand some of these things. So really we can look at some things called variances and that's what accountants like to see because they like to see the, the difference right now at this point in time. And the first thing they want to look at is this one here, the difference between the earned value and the cost, and that's the cost variance, surprisingly enough. So you've got the cost variance as being the earned value minus the actual cost. And of course, you can see from my diagram that that's negative. The negative variance, it's adverse, means it's a bad deal. So this is a failing project. The other variance that would attract some attention would be this one here the variance between the plan and the earned value. And again, that's known as the schedule variance. This time it's on cost. So that would be the earned value minus the plan value. Again, negative, showing an adverse variance. And you're probably ahead of me by now. The other thing we would want to look at is this schedule variance on time. That one there was the schedule variance on cost. This schedule variance on time is going to be simply this one here, schedule variance time. And now the parameters going into there are the original duration, OD, minus this uh, ATE, the actual expended time. That's going to be a negative number in this setup. That's because this project is running late. I mean, it's the complete disaster here. This is running late, and this is also running above cost. So it's not going to be a pleasant thing to be on. So we've ended up with um, the three vital things, if you like, the vital groupings of information in here. And the first three are the earned value, the progress, compared to the plan value, and then we've monitored the actual cost. So those three are the building blocks. That's the information at time now. What we can do from there is use them to find the most important things, which are the forecasts of where we're likely to go if things carry on in this way. Those were the estimated completion and the uh, forecast project duration. And the third pieces of intelligence that come out of this are the variances. And if you recall, the cost variance was the difference between the earned value and the actual cost. The schedule variance was the difference between the progress that we made, the earned value, and the planned value. That was the earned value minus the planned value. And our schedule variance on time was our original duration. You'll recall that that original duration was when we should have achieved this earned value, and that's minus the actual time. And that's going to tell us how late we're running on this project. 